Hi there, welcome to Dream Framer Photography. Today I'm going to try to address the question that I get from new stock photographers literally every day. How much money can I earn selling stock photography? So let's talk about earnings in stock photography. First of all, let me tell you something. Stock photography is not a business where you can get rich overnight. You have to invest your time, your talent, and of course some money for the equipment. If this is something you're willing to do, then subscribe to my channel because I created the most detailed guide on YouTube on how to sell photos online. If you expect to become a millionaire overnight, then this channel is not for you. Literally every day, I receive at least one email with these kind of questions. How much money can I earn if I sell photos online? How much money can I earn on Shutterstock in two months? I have 50 photos online, I sold only one. How much time is gonna take for me to earn $10 a month? And so on and so on. I don't wanna disappoint you, but these questions are impossible to answer and I'm gonna tell you why. There's quite a few factors included in your potential to sell photos online. These factors are the number of images you have online, the quality of those images, titles, descriptions and keywords you are using, the demand for those images, the competition you are fighting against for the same subject, the popularity of the website you are selling on among customers, your rank on the website you are selling on, and the percentage of earnings the website is sharing with you. Since all these factors are included in your earnings, it's basically impossible to predict for you as a new stock photographer how much money you're going to be making from your new images. That's not the case, however, with older stock photographers because, first of all, they have some experience, they have some knowledge about what customers want, and they already have constant monthly earnings from the images they were uploading before. Now, before we take a look at all these factors one by one, I want to tell you something. Don't get discouraged because one day, you will be that older stock photographer and you will exactly know what you're doing. Just keep uploading and keep improving your technique. Try to understand what customers want. That's the most important thing. Let's go now through these eight factors that have huge influence on your earnings. The first factor is the number of images you have online. And this one is clear as day. The more images you have, the more potential to sell. However, I want to say something. Don't expect to sell anything if you have only, let's say, 20 images online. If you do sell something, that means that you were either lucky or you exactly know what you're doing. Let's move to the second factor. The quality of your images. This one is also easy. The better your images look, the better chance of having them sold. This means that you have to keep improving your photo editing technique so your images stand out in the crowd. The third factor is titles, descriptions, and keywords you're using. This one is particularly important because you can have thousands of images online and they can be of a good quality, but if people can't find them, your sales are not going to be great. The fourth factor is the demand for the images you make. That one is kind of tricky because you have to figure out what customers actually want. And when you think about it, you can split subjects you're taking pictures of in two big categories, evergreen subjects, and trending subjects. Evergreen subjects would be all the things you're taking pictures of that are always in demand. And we can put there, let's say, tourist locations, animals, food, uh, people doing things like cooking or nurses in the hospital or business people. Trending subjects would be things that are popular at the moment, like let's say, Android 7, Bitcoin, uh, earthquakes around the world, hurricanes around the world, and things like that. If you want to take advantage of trending subjects, there is a great tool made by Google. It's called Google Trends. And I'm not going to explain in detail how that works because there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to use it. So you can use Google Trends to find new subjects for your stock photography. Factor number five, the competition you're fighting against for the same subject. Your images will have much higher chance to sell if they're not fighting against thousands of images with the same subject. The best way to discover new categories that are not oversaturated is to go to any of the stock websites and type a keyword in the search box. If you get, let's say, 200 pages of results, 
then maybe it's not the best idea to take pictures of that subject. But if you find only 20 or 50 pages of results, then go for it. Factor number six, the popularity of the website you are selling on among customers. There is a lot of stock photo websites out there, but only few are popular among customers. And those are Shutterstock, Bigstock, iStock, Adobe Stock, 123RF, Canstock Photo, and Dreamstein. If you want to sell on these websites and become my referral, I posted my referral links in the description of this video. I intentionally didn't mention Getty images because if you're selling on iStock, you're automatically selling on Getty because iStock was bought by Getty. If you sign a contract just with Getty images, then you will not be able to sell anywhere else because Getty has only exclusive contracts. Your goal should be to get into these few biggest stock photo websites if you really want to sell something. I'm also selling on some smaller websites because who knows one day they might become bigger. But as of now, and now it's September 2017, these few websites are the biggest players in stock photography market. Factor number seven, your rank on the website you're selling images on. Many stock photo websites have a ranking system for photographers. The higher the rank, the more money per image the photographer gets. One of the examples is Adobe Stock. Here you can see Adobe Stock ranking system. These icons here represent different ranks. This is the lowest rank and this is the highest rank. And these are the percentages all these ranks are earning. And this is for non-exclusive photographers. If you click here and change the exclusivity to total exclusivity, you will see that exclusive photographers earn more. And then there is so-called partial exclusivity where some images are exclusive and some are not. Some websites like Big Stock, for example, calculate your rank according to the number of images you sold in the last 12 months. So if you sold between 1 and 199 images, you're gonna get 25 cents per image. If you sold between 200 and 999 images, you're gonna get 27 cents per image, and so on. And this is only if customers buy a subscription package. The conclusion is, upload images to grow your portfolio, Make good quality images and images that customers want and your rank will improve. As your rank is improving, your earnings will improve as well. Factor number eight is the percentage of earnings the website is sharing with you. This really depends on the website and it's not that simple even if you take a look at just one website. For example, on Big Stock, customers can buy images for credits or subscription. If you take a look at this table, this is the table for credit sales. This is how much you earn per image according to the size of the image if the image is sold on big stock. However, if the image is sold on one of the big stock partners, so other websites that sell big stock images, then you will be earning 30% of what big stock gets from that partner. If you take a look at subscription plan, we are back to that table that I was showing you before, where your earnings depend on the number of images you sold in the last 12 months. And this is just big stock. Dreamstime has a different ranking system. Over there, images have ranks. So if the image is selling a lot, its rank improves and it costs more. Here in this table we can see that images have ranks or levels. Level 0, level 1, see how the prices change, level 2, level 3, and so on. The percentage you earn per image depends on few factors. Level of the image or rank of the image and exclusivity status of the image or exclusivity status of yourself. If you are Dreamstime exclusive contributor, you're gonna be earning 60% of each sale. 
If only the image is exclusive for Dreamstime and you are not, so you are selling other images on other websites, then the image is going to be bringing you 38.5%. And if you are non-exclusive contributor and the image is non-exclusive, you're going to be earning 35% per image. This is for single sales. There is another table for extended license, which means images that are bought to be printed in many, many copies. These images, of course, cost much more and the percentage that you earn per image is different. I hope that after all this, you understand why is it impossible for me to predict how much you're going to be earning when you start selling photos online. In time, when you have substantial sales, you're going to be able to do it yourself. In the meantime, focus on improving your photography, focus on improving your keywords, and the sales will come. That was all for today, guys. Check out my new channel with relaxing music and nature sounds. It might help you focus better while you're editing your photos. I linked the channel in the description of this video, or you can go to it if you click on the card that showed up now. See you next time. Bye.